Hi everyone, I'm Shelly from There's No Place Like Home at redheadmom8.wordpress.com. So I decided this year that I'm going to approach our weekly nature studies a bit differently. Up until this point, our nature studies have usually looked like us going for a walk or going to the creek or just observing nature in some way, oftentimes discussing it, pointing out what different things are, and then journaling about it afterwards, maybe even collecting pine cones or flowers to, to glue into that journal. But what I really started to feel convicted about lately is the fact that I want my own children to have the ability to grow their own food when they are older. Um, as many of you know, I am not somebody who is really into consumerism. I think that it is one of the biggest downfalls of our society. And so I really want to instill in my children the, the, the knowledge and the skills to be self-sustaining. Now, I'm going to tell you that I was never taught these things growing up. My parents didn't have a garden. They didn't have a flower garden or a vegetable garden. So I was never taught the things that I wish I would have so that I could be, could do these things. So to be honest, I'm going to be learning right alongside my kids. Um, and last year, we actually did try to do this as well. We tried to do a huge vegetable garden as part of our nature study and what happened was I was so ambitious and so excited about doing this that I planted way too many things and I got completely overwhelmed because again I am a novice gardener that's probably even too advanced for me I am just not good at this stuff so what I decided to do this year is we are going to keep things smaller but we are still going to do a hands-on gardening nature study while the weather is nice because these are something these are things that my kids are going to be able to use as they are older and they're really things that I wish I would have known as well so I want to give my kids that gift so anyway I decided that I was going to share with you my hands-on nature study supplies now that I actually picked up yesterday at Christmas tree shops um, it's a fantastic store if you have one near you it's not just about Christmas there's pretty much Everything that you can think of is in that store, and they have a fantastic array of gardening supplies there, which is what I picked up, and I just wanted to share with you the things that we chose to maybe give you some ideas if you want to change up your nature study as well. So I hope you enjoy this. So I just wanted to show you some of the nature study supplies that I picked up yesterday. And this really looks very different from what our nature study supplies usually look like. Our nature study supplies usually consist of things like fishing poles that my kids have very often fashioned themselves. Um, we have binoculars, we have magnifying glasses. And so our nature studies have always been mainly about going out and observing things in nature, going to the creek, going for walks, coming back and journaling about it. But I've been feeling really, really convicted lately that I want to help my kids get out of the consumerism trap. I want to help them to learn to be self-sufficient. And this isn't something that I learned as a child. So gardening and all of these sorts of things are completely new to me as well. But I think that it is a skill that everyone needs to have in this day and age. So this year, this summer even, we'll probably be doing, well, we'll definitely be doing it through the summer. Our nature study is going to be about gardening. So I just wanted to show you some, some things that we got maybe to give you some ideas. We got all of these things yesterday at Christmas tree shop. I don't know if you have one near you, but it is an amazing store and it is not all Christmas trees. Like when I told my kids we were going to the Christmas tree shop, they were like Christmas tree shop. And I was like, no guys, it's not just Christmas stuff. But anyway, so we got a seed starter here to plant the, the flower seeds that we got. And I let my kids pick out the sorts of seeds that we were going to start getting. Although I did pick out the red raspberry, the red raspberries and the blackberries. Cause I know that's something that we'll definitely eat. We picked up some gardening gloves for the kids to use. Right now, I only got two pairs, but we can get a couple more at the dollar store. We have some cherry tomatoes. We have strawberries 
daisies, we have red raspberries and blackberries that we're going to be planting, and sunflowers and sweet peppers. And so, yeah, I'm hoping that this works out for us. Last year, we did a huge vegetable garden, which turned out to be a disaster because, as I mentioned, I was never taught gardening. I was never taught self-sustaining self lifestyle skills. So what ended up happening was our vegetable garden was a bust because I was too ambitious and I planted too many different things. It was too big. We got totally overwhelmed. And the only thing we ever really got out of it was some potatoes and corn. And that was it. So we're going to do it small this year. We're going to start small. And hopefully I'm going to instill in my kids the desire to, you know, take care of themselves and not depend so much on stores. So anyway, that's all that I have for you today. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet and would like to hear more of what I have to say, I would love if you would do that. If you have any questions or comments, you can either leave one down below. If my comments are still disabled at this point, you can always head on over to Instagram. I will have the link in my description box for my Instagram account. And you can leave a comment there or even suggestions on other things that we can do gardening wise for our nature study. And if you like my work, you can check out my Patreon page and see what rewards I have for my patrons there. And I hope you have a great day.